Hello everybody, I've got a couple more Mantis videos here for you today. Uh, first off, this is just the uh, shed skin, so the outer exoskeleton of Nego Mantis Medio Constrictor, the Indonesian Double Shield Mantis. Uh, this was a female, you can see on the underside, if I just get a probe out. Uh, where you tell the sex of Mantises is you look at the uh, ventral segments, which are coming down here. In females there will be six, in males there will be eight. Also, this last section down here is usually enlarged to females. Um, the legs, you can see very well the uh, articulated tarsi, I think they're called. Um, so if you move down here, oh god, it's very light, so I can't breathe too heavily. Actually, that's really nice now. You can see, uh, going along there, uh, you can see the different joints of the ankle. Certainly in the last mantis I dissected, which was uh, Hyrogella majuscula, a giant Australian rainforest mantis, uh, the mantis was so old that it had lost a lot of these tarsi. So you can actually see this really nicely here. Um, this was a mantis that was going from, I believe, uh, sub-adult to adult. So it's so it's now got its wings, if you look at the actual, mant uh, the actual mantis, but I haven't got that here. That's uh, staying with friends who have a warmer house than me. Um, Moving around here, you can see the raptorial forelimbs really nicely. So, uh, down there, you can see this little array of spikes. That's what used to spear their prey. Uh, and if we move in, you can probably see very nicely there as well. It's, it's a wicked set of teeth in there. Uh, basically, they just spear into puncture the prey and uh, trap them completely because these are really strong compared to the body size. Uh, interesting thing I noticed uh, when I was looking at this yesterday, if we just turn this over, um, the face actually folds right down, if you can see that. The eyes pop forward, which uh, I... Uh, so you can see the hollow in the back where the mantis has actually exited the shell, if I do that. You can... I don't know if you will be able to see that. It's all brown on brown, unfortunately, but very interesting nonetheless. Um, the way that insects escape from their shells is, um, uh, well, certainly the way butterflies do it. I'm not sure about any others, but um, the way the butterflies uh, escape from their chrysalis, for example, is by um, pumping uh, themselves full of this stuff called hemolymph, which is uh, basically the equivalent of blood. Um, and they will just pump that, so they pump, pump it with one part of the body, so it just stretches and expands. Um, other than that, you can see, as I was saying about the face folding down, you can see the antenna uh, going along here. A fly on me, sorry. Go away. Um, oh, crikey. Um, you got a, uh, yeah, sorry, you got the antennae going down there. You can see them a bit better a second ago. Um, but they have uh, moved down because usually they stick up, uh, point up above the head. Um, uh, obviously, for sort of sensory. Um, you might be able to see the split a bit better there, actually, yeah, in the, this light. It's a big rip, a lot roll on the back. When um, uh, when a mantis gets rid of its skin, it's called ecdysis, E-C-D-Y-S-I-S. -S. Um, this, as I said, came from an Indonesian double shield mantis. So if I put that down, uh, it needs to be... That's the best view of it, but if I can... That and maybe if you can see, not really along that border there, you can see slightly that it does goes in sort of figure eight. That's the shield sort of guard that houses the uh, most of the organs, or some of the organs we've been in the back here. But um, that's uh, why we call it the double shield mantis because it's got the little figure eight thing with two nodules in it. Um, you can see certainly the stripes on the legs down here, which is just where the pigmentation has remained from the previous um, uh, previous exoskeleton. Other than that, I believe that might be everything you want to see. If you certainly, 
if you want to see anything more of this, I'll probably keep it. Just comment or something. Give us a yell. Yeah. Cheers.